Hey everyone, this is Lucy, she, her, and today I just wanted to talk a bit about Steve Hofstetter. He's a comedian on YouTube and he has 800,000 subscribers. He's mostly known for his viral videos of people heckling him during his stand-up performances. His most popular video is six years ago, but I mean, he's been making content for a long time. We've got like 13 years ago, 11 years ago. This is a huge channel, verified channel, uh, and he's very well known. Um, but today, my, you know, my, my respect for him that I had went to zero and is now non-existent and that's why I wanted to make this video <laughs> just to mention this because I've not heard I've not seen anyone else talking about this but today a community post from him popped up in my feed because I've previously watched his videos so we'll get into that in a moment but first up Lucy why did you have respect why did you like this Steve guy in the first place well he's done a video called Comedian Wears a Dress to Protest TN Law, uh, so that's Tennessee. I'm not going to watch this video again because that's giving him money, but from what I remember, Tennessee had recently passed some kind of anti-trans laws and things, so he was protesting against that by being a guy wearing a dress, and you know, it was good. It was good. I watched a few of his other videos. He did one Heckling during a trans acceptance joke. Transphobic heckler ruins his own life. All of these videos show that he's, you know, he's a good guy. He supports trans rights. You know, it's nice to see a comedian who isn't going to be the Ricky DeVais throwing trans people under the bus for a, a quick, cheap joke because we're easy to make fun of and we're in the news a lot and there's a lot of misinformation, people don't understand, they don't know anyone who's trans. So it was refreshing for me to see a comedian who actually was accepting of trans people, who isn't silent, who speaks up and is an ally. Um, but now that's all sort of gone down the drain, because even though he may be based and woke, he is doing some kind of investment scam thing. So this post that came up on my YouTube this morning, this is insanely cool. When I announced that I was partnering with Gigastar to sell a portion of my YouTube revenue as securities, it was a wild and unproven idea. I didn't know how much interest there would be in it, and the hope was that we'd reach the goal of selling 25% of the allotted revenue before the three-week deadline. It hasn't even been three days and we're about to triple that. So immediately I'm wondering what on earth is Gigastar? That sounds like a as like CryptoZoo, that sounds like a scam. <laughs> Later on in the community post it says, Thank you so much to everyone who believes in me. I'm gonna add extra cool perks for investors. I don't know what they'll be yet, but maybe more digital content? An investors meeting and show? Give me best ideas for a fun bonus. Here's part of the video he uploaded called Wanna Own My YouTube Page? I invite you to take a risk with me. Like any investment, there's no guarantee here. But if you believe my career will keep growing, this could be amazing for all of us. The offering is now live and limited, so you can invest until it closes, or more likely until we run out of shares. Look, okay, obviously I'm not a lawyer, I'm not... I like I have no crypto, I have no NFTs, I am not in this circle, but it just this is giving me scam vibes, this is giving me NFT vibes, this is giving me you know, it's like fear of missing out, FOMO. Guys, invest in my YouTube channel before like what what? Obviously I have no idea about Steve's financial situation but you know he has a youtube channel with 800k subscribers he posts a lot of youtube shorts which i know they're probably not making a lot of money but you know that's still there he has a patreon which has over 500 paid members and the lowest tier is three dollars it looks like so i mean that's probably at least one thousand five hundred dollars a month. 
He also obviously is a comedian, so he does live shows. He has a book. He has stuff on iTunes. To me, this seems like someone who has a lot of revenue streams coming in already and probably doesn't really need to do this stuff that seems a bit scam. The Gigastar website says, We bring creators and investors together, giving YouTube creators access to funding and providing investors with the ability to invest in the creator economy. Apparently they've raised three million dollars for creators. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only a matter of time before someone comes out with a massive video about this, <laughs> showing how much of a scam it is and stuff. I mean, I could be wrong, but this just this feels wrong. As an investor on Gigastar's platform, you have the opportunity to invest in offerings that give you certain rights to potential future revenue. Certain rights, that's nice and vague. The ability to participate in a creator's journey through investment, and access to special perks offered by creators. In short, an opportunity to become a Giga fan. <laughs> Do you want to be a, a Giga fan of Steve? I'm a Giga fan of Steve. This is Steve's page on the Giga Star market. Uh, looks like he's raised one hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars doing this. Total CRTs. So is that like his NFT thing? So I've read through basically everything that's on this web page, but I still don't really understand this. The total ref revenue offered forty percent. Okay, so that's like you could earn up to 40% of the revenue from his YouTube channel. But then it's also got these percentages here, like 0.02%, 0.08%, 0.32%. So if, let's say, I bought this diamond rank for $1,344, does this mean I'm getting 0.32% of this 40%? of his revenue. I don't know how much revenue his YouTube channel makes, so I don't know how much 40% is, and then I don't know how much 0.32% is. There's a lot of numbers on this screen, and <laughs> I think it's probably deliberate to just make it confusing and show the big numbers to make you think, this is so cool. This is insanely cool, as he puts it in his own words. Anyway, that's just some very surface level thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I, I think it's only a matter of time before everyone is dunking on Gigastar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the Lucy Goosey Giga Chad army today.